Okay, a quick video about club face control then. So a lot of time, when you think about controlling the club face, you might consider whether the ball goes left or right. But you can also consider the height, and to a certain degree, if you can control the launch angle, you'll also control the direction that the ball goes. So a little drill here, I've got my eight iron. I know that I want to launch this ball around about 18 degrees. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a half shot, and I'm gonna measure it on quad to see what the launch angle is. Okay, I'll show you that one. Okay, so probably a little bit more than a half shot, but that's launched at 17 and a half degrees off the club face. Right, okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit a full shot and hope that the launch angle is very similar to that. Okay, so there's nothing changed in the setup, but what you can see is that the launch angle is within half a degree. And the reason for that is for the amount of lean that I get in the shaft and trying to produce the same wrist angles through impact every single time. That's down to having a decent grip and hopefully trying to create the same path every single time. Now I appreciate that not everybody's got a launch monitor to be able to measure their launch angles, but there's a low-tech version, alignment sticks and a bit of duct tape. So what I've done is I've measured out three lengths away from where I'm going to hit the ball, put a crossbar in and that would give me uh, at one length up 18 and a half degrees. comfortably under. Okay so when you're reproducing launch angles you are reproducing club face control and that's all the key is to hitting good golf shots and playing good golf.